It is about to get steamy in here. Welcome to SteamWorld Dig 2. This is an actual sequel to the first SteamWorld Dig. Uh, if you don't know what SteamWorld Dig is, it is a game where you are a little robot miner. And you need to dig in the ground to, you know, help, help save a small, uh, you know, growing town. Bustling town. Uh, but this is SteamWorld Dig 2. That's a horrible explanation. Uh, this is SteamWorld Dig 2. It is an actual sequel to the first game. Uh, the story up until now is the miner that you were in the first game was apparently kidnapped after the end of the first game. And now we are his little friend Dot trying to save the day. Uh, SteamWorld in general is a giant overarching story. So there's like SteamWorld Heist and there's, there's SteamWorld something else too. It's like a whole series of games put together. Uh, kind of like the Oddworld games were if you were a person of the 90s-ish like I was. Uh, but anyway, so the major part of this game is we go down in that mine and we start digging for stuff. If you look, like I've been, I've been digging like a like a crazy man down here. So we're gonna get down there in a second. Uh, but while you're up here, you can cruise around. There are upgrades to buy, so you can get better pickaxes, which help you uh, dig through heavier blocks. Uh, backpacks, which give you more space. Lamps give you more light. Armor's health. Uh, since we are steam. Steam based, uh, steam built something. Uh, we use water tanks and hydraulics for upgrading our little robot friend here. Uh, you can know there's also new to this game. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. I uh, knew this new to this game. There are also actual like mods you can put on yourself. Like I have one that deals extra damage to resources. Uh, discarding extra resources gives you money instead of just dropping things. You'll see what that is in a second. But there's actually mods now too, which is kind of cool. Uh, this little guy down here gives me blueprints for uh, new items if I find him secret relics as we're digging, which I believe is also new compared to the first game. Uh, but there's two different ways to go in the mine. If we go in here, this puts us right at the top of the mine. Or, no, I don't want to talk to you. I don't have anything to sell. Or if we go in this tube, if you find tubes as we go down, uh, you basically t teleport to that tube instead of starting where you normally start. So right now, we're actually trying to go to where that X is, but there's also stuff in this game that are like uh, puzzle caves. You see a bunch have check marks, but you also can see the one to the right. Oh, can we, we can do a separate, okay. Uh, this one over here, this one is not checked because I wanted to save that for everybody else. So we're gonna teleport to here, where this is the mine. This is where we hang out and dig things if we want to. Uh, I, can I still even get up there? Hmm. We might actually have to go back outside to get over there. Because I made bad digging decisions and could not get back over to where I went to. Actually, you know what? We'll do it this way. Uh, but this is the... We'll call this the base game right now. Uh, what you want to do is you just basically dig down through this mine. We have uh, my pickaxe. You can jump. We have a speed dash you can't see. And when you have water in your little belly, uh, you can shoot rockets at things. Or bombs. Like that. Uh, if it was closer to an actual uh, tile, it sticks, it blows up, good to go. Uh, the cactuses explode on contact. They help clear out some of the spaces. Uh, let's see. I did it wrong. Uh, whatever. All right. So blow him up. Get some resources down there now. Uh, I want to make sure I can get back up here. So I think we'll do this one. All right. You drop stuff. Uh, the reason I am picking... That, that's pretty quick compared to other tiles in this game. Uh, that's what the level 4 upgrade has gotten me. Uh, if I jump in water, it soaks up the water for my hydraulics, which is the thing that like shoots the mines we were just uh, shooting. That's what does this. Uh, where the flame is on the top left-hand corner, that is my light level. Uh, as you go through, I, I personally give off light as well as these lights give off light. Uh, if you run out of oil, the lights are darker as you're running around. It doesn't really affect anything major, other than you can't really see. Uh, I don't think I'll need that. Uh, in the bottom are the resources we found so far. So right now we found one piece of cinnabar, which sells for three coins when we go back to the uh, the top. I have upgraded that six slots. If I discard this now, because I think this is taking up space for more valuable resources, I can discard it. And this is one of those perks I was showing you where I still get a dollar back instead of the three dollars it sells for, just in case, you know, I need to make room while we're down here. 
I'm going to do it just to do it. Uh, these are the artif artifacts that I've found so far. Uh, Baal Adaliadila amulet. We found a dead rat. We found a Spelunky diary. And we found Schrodinger's what? You don't know what's in the box. And Schrodinger had a cat that he put in a box with uh, poison pellets. This is an actual story now. Uh, Schrodinger's cat, if you've never heard about it. Uh, Schrodinger was a crazy scientist who, decide, who, I guess, theorized or postulated, or one of those science words, that if you put a cat in the box with, a, with poison release tabs that can release at any time, if you never open the box, the cat is both dead and alive constantly at the same time because you know the cat was alive. You know the poison might go off at some point, but you don't know when. And since you're not checking on the cat, you can't verify one fact or the other. Or that's pretty close to what it was, at least. You get the idea. Basically, he was crazy and put a cat in a box with poison. Uh, if you notice, there was that little robot beetle that we killed. Uh, they give you XP. I'm level 5 right now at the top. You can see. Uh, we're also in the Windy Plains right now instead of the caves. So that's why I have 0% secrets instead of whatever percentage I had on the inside. Uh, it actually keeps track of percentages, too. Or not percentages. It keeps track of uh, the secrets you found, which is kind of neat because it helps you figure out if you found everything or not. This is considered a secret. Uh, so these are puzzle rooms when you find these secret caves. So as you can tell, hit this one, this drops. That's fine. With these, if I don't go fast enough, this first one's going to drop. I'm not going to be able to get past what we're trying to do. So when you panic like that and you miss... Then you get stuck, and you go back out, and you go back in, because I'm bad at video games sometimes. So we'll try this again. I don't know if I'm not... Oh, you gotta go quick. Alright. I just noticed that... Okay, we have more time than I think of it. You have to go quick. We have to get down to the bottom, because if those two drop, I still can't get past that third rock to the right. Here we go. Way easier than I thought. Get in the water. So these are the puzzle rooms that have uh, the artifacts in them. So in theory, by beating this, we should find uh, one of those artifacts. And also, yeah, see, as you can tell, like the light that was around me has slowly been going away since I've been running out of oil. And now, uh, it's kind of hard to tell because there's light around here. But see, when we go in the dark now, there's no extra light to help me see. So that's how you know you did good. Or bad. Uh, it looks like we just need to go rapid fire through this area. That's what we're going to try to do. Let me out. Here we go. You got nothing, game. See, that, that's some fancy. So we just found Azurite, which is 20 bucks, instead of that crap before that was 3. Uh, I have enough spaces where it doesn't matter as much as it used to. But it definitely... If you need money, it helps. Uh, these boxes are upgrade cogs, which are a little bit harder to find than money. But that's how you do the mods that we have unlocked so far. Like, this takes... I have to go to the workbench. Two gems per slot. That actually sounds pretty good. So we're going to go back and add that. But these you can take off and re-add whenever you want to. So if you want to respec your character, you can. As you can see, I have, like... Two, three. I have like six or seven attached at the moment. Uh, I have a weird, a weird thing where I'm like, hey, I want to make sure I have everything, so I like run laps around these areas to make sure that all the dark parts are lit up. Uh, the dark brown on the maps are the parts where I probably didn't want those to fall, because back here it probably has a secret item. So we're actually going to do this one more time. The other way. But yeah, so I, I like to make, have, have all of the... Any game that has maps that unveil as you go, I like to see everything. So it's just a little personality quirk where I run around the rooms to make sure that everything is shown. Uh, what we probably want to do for this part is this. And then this. You can't trick me. You cannot trick me. So that's a new... So we got a rocket black box. If we check, that should be an artifact. There you go. Rocket black box. 
nationwide network of rocket enthusiasts, and essentially an organization of brainiac know-it-alls. Will benefit, hopefully benefit from this data. I can't read. Uh, but that is the fifth. Wait, can I just go back at this one? So that is five of 42 collectibles, though. I don't know if you saw at the bottom. But then we walk out of here. We should get a green check mark. Yes, we did. So that means we actually beat that. All right, so now we're going to go back in the real caves. Actually, we're going to jack up this beetle. Uh, so because this is outside, I haven't really explored this yet. Because it's a different area, and I'm trying to work my way through this main cave first. So actually what I think we're going to do is... Wait, oh no, it's over here. Alright. So we're going to go in here. I'm going to go back up top. I'm going to sell this just because we're up here. We're going to go to the workbench. Use my cogs. Uh, use two gems per slot on our bag. So that should give me 12. If my math is correct, that should give me 12 slots in my backpack now, which is fantastic. Uh, we'll talk to this guy. Found the strangest passage down by the wall. It's overgrown with plants. Most things down there are pretty strange, if you ask me. This is the mayor. He's the owner of this nice little town. Uh, the main story beat so far is this town keeps having earthquakes and no one knows why. So we're kind of trying to help clean out the mines so people can go back downstairs, to, or not back downstairs, uh, back underground to make money to be able to live their lives. But that's really all I've seen of the story so far. Yeah, okay. Ooh, it's up here. Put it in here? Not yet. Actually, you know what? I wonder if we can... Yes! Secret new room! Who are you? That's a nice rocket you got there. Professor Sherman. Since the mayor is being unscientific, because he had to think of a contingency plan. My size my seismometer tells me that something is very off about these earthquakes. A mine is right dug right along the fault line. One great quake and this whole place could tumble. Protective wall at the mines, really a wonder. There's wall between my hometown too. I can't read today. Uh, same wall goes on forever. It's like the Great Wall of China for robots. To keep the shiners down there. I guess those are the bad guys we keep running into. Right. So he's done talking to us now. Who are you? He's a traitor. You see your hips are about to pay anything for my genuine cogs. He sells the gears, so that's good to know. Alright, so he, he sells his cogs, that's good to know. You got it, bud. I guess we're not supposed to get any higher yet, that's fine. Uh, that, that rocket shooting thing I just got was like an unlock. Uh, it's very Metroidvania, as people like to say, where you unlock new perks as you go along. Uh, we're actually going to go down here and do the story now. Here we go. So before these guys, those are the thing you just saw, like, pulsing there. Is that is that beetle guy in its natural habitat. Uh, if you can kill them before they come out of the ground like that, it's one hit to kill them instead of the one, two, three that it normally takes. I uh, still get the same amount of money, so I get the same amount of everything else. It's just, just a quicker kill. Oh. Turn that lamp on. <gasps> uh, the one major thing I've seen about this game, when you dig your own, when you dig your own mines, is you can't dig up, obviously, or you can't dig up past this first block. You can't like sit on the wall and do anything. So whether it's right or wrong, I like to dig dig down in straight lines. Because when you have to, like, if you just want to climb out. Oh, come on. Whatever. Uh, if you just want to climb out, I find it easier to just jump real fast along a wall like this than it is to do anything else, in my personal opinion. We'll call that a hot strat. I don't know if it really is or not. But we'll pretend. There you go. 
That was a better example. One shot, one kill. So we're gonna go over here. Uh, this is probably the wall they were talking about. We can't get through yet. Mason Station. Okay, we got cogs behind bricks. At some point, probably I'll pick those. Not yet. Can't trick me. If I could swing a little bit quicker, you'd probably be able to get them in a three hits, but it's not the game. that's not the game this game is playing. As you can tell too, real basic puzzles in this game. Nothing fancy. Just simple platforming kind of stuff. Yeah, we definitely be able to have be able to pick bricks at some point. Huh? See? Little walls like that, you gotta double check. Get your secrets. Penguin! Love penguins. It's hard to jump and dance for joy when you're lost and your love is nowhere near. A penguin's love lasts forever. That is true. People say that they are very monogamous. It's crazy penguins. Uh, so, this is probably gonna go back down when we get off of it. Yep. Right, same thing. Uh, so bricks like this, you can only break them from the direction that they're cracking. So you can't, you can't dig this up. You have to go above it and dig it down. Sounds kind of weird when I say dig it down. You know what I mean. So go over here. Shoot a bomb. Crack that bad boy open. Ah, that makes sense. I was like, oh crap, I screwed it up already. This is why I put that hole over here. So you can go like this. And then we should be open down here. Yep. Uh, the reason everything exploded as soon as I hit that is because the one perk I have... Uh, where was it? This one. So I have a perk that breaking resource tiles creates a small burst. So that's why everything else explodes when I break those, because just a nice little upgrade perk I have. Uh, these steam eater muncher things, uh, these are what gives you new skills. So I just upgraded to a new uh, ability. Got jackhammer. So I bet you jackhammer goes through bricks. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, were there more bricks up here? No, there weren't. Uh, it looks like that, much like everything else, uses water. All your tools, steam powered. All right. Uh, was there anything else? No, this looks kind of full on the map. So it should be okay, right? This is how we'll double check. No, there's not a check mark on there. It's not really you guys' problem. Oh yeah! I was fixing and building, forgot my tools. I'll give you this paper. Blood quest. Well, <laughs> we're checking this out in a heartbeat. Can we? All right, this is this is a pretty sick tool. I can get behind this. I'm sure I'll put myself in precarious situations where I can't get myself out of things, but I like it. Keep going. Keep going. I might as well make it worth the trip if we're gonna cash out here. There's just secrets everywhere. I do kind of like the fact they're not super hidden. They're just a little hidden. That's not as hard. Uh, as a ge I, in general, I find this like a good uh, podcast or TV game too. 
where, I mean, you're really just digging. There's no sound cues you have to worry about. You just cruise along and talk to people and dig holes. So we're gonna come down here first. You found six artifacts. Here's another blueprint. So we unlocked core discovery. What do you want to say? Manage to get through Mason Station. The hammer will drive a huge punch and break through the horror sections of brick. Now you can get through the wall. Own fuel supply, easy peasy. Stronger pneumatics. Workbench. Uh, do I have, no, we don't have money to upgrade. So we're gonna sell first. This is like my loop. I sell first, and then I go do upgrades because then you have money. See, I already found the professor. So maybe we can go to different. Maybe you can go to different plants as we go forward. All right, so I'll do upgrades. So I'm gonna upgrade my water tank, since a lot of things use, you know, the water tank. Uh, the mods. Let's see. I have that one's still locked. We have some new ones. A fluid polychromatic arm that provides a small chance of getting three rainbow orbs every time an enemy is defeated. Uh, I think those are the XP orbs. I don't really care about that right now. Uh, we don't care about fall damage. Absorbs water faster from pools. Don't care about that. Don't care about pressure bombs hurting me. Improves jackhammer speed. Uh, I don't really care about that right now, so that can stay. Gain bounty at the price of blood. Doubles the chance to get blood stones when enemies die, but also doubles the damage they do to you. If activating this COD mod will make your quest much harder. Recommend only for veterans. <laughs> yeah, I do. Let's get it going. Let's make it harder. Alright, so what do you want to say? See any shiners yet? It's been a while since we, they caused trouble. Have not seen any. Wide spring problem. They came scarce after Rusty. Uh, Rusty was Steamroll Dig first, the first protagonist. Everyone's bailing out of this town, probably because of all the explosions and earthquakes. You and a Shiner Company di country, do you? We're going out of Shiner Country. I know. Throw, throw another X down. Let's do it. We'll go down one last time. We'll, di we'll do a little digging, and then we'll call it a day. You're in the way. Alright, so... Go here. Oh, can't punch those to death. Good to know. Alright, we're gonna go up here just to get the water. Turn the lamp on. Try to get to those idiots quick. I don't think I have a good way of getting to them unless we go across here. And he made my path harder. Actually, this, this should be okay if I do it this way. Killed your friend, stupid. Give me that cash. If you notice, I'm, also, I'm currently going the wrong way. Uh, I get sidetracked by the thoughts of profit. Should we almost have a connection to this part of the mine now? That's kind of good. Or at least in my in my mind, that's good. Don't, don't come charging at me. Level up. Uh, every time you level up, you get it adds to your sales bonus, as it says. Uh, so that means that whenever I cash in, like that that iron aluminium is worth four bucks, but I get twenty five percent extra. So I get that's like I get five instead of four then, right? Ballpark. Uh, we're actually almost I'm actually almost full of resources already because, like I said, I get sidetracked. So if I run out of room before we get to that next part, we're gonna go cash in one last time. I do like that enemies can kill each other. That makes it easier for little people like me. 
Ooh, there's no cave over here. You know what? We're gonna go to the cave instead. That'll be more fun to watch than me caching it, most likely. All right, so we'll do one last puzzle for the day. All right, rupture rock hollow. All right, so this is we're gonna have to set this off and run real fast. Probably didn't need to worry about the, the oil right now, but that's okay. Uh, also, if you screw up, this game is very generous about anytime you go through a door, it resets. So I just want to show you that. There's, there's no fear of losing an upgrade kind of deal. Alright, so right now, see, we have not enough space. So we're going to check what we have. Blood Diamond's only worth three bucks a piece. These are five a piece. You know, these are four a piece. And we need more room. So we might as well get rid of these. Since we get money back for them anyway. I was only for Ironton. Can I just do it? Oh, we can't reach that yet. Okay. We gotta go quick. Here we go. Like Sonic. Get sidetracked. <gasps> Keep going. What a save. What a save. Are you kidding me? But there's another secret up up into the right then too. I'm just impressed I did that once. I feel good about that. So we got another cog. And if this doesn't turn green. Yep, there's definitely another thing up there. But anyway, I need to go cash out. My bag is full. And this was SteamWorld Dig 2. Uh, it's been out for a little bit, so if you think this looks cool, or ever played the first one, or anything fun like that, feel free to pick it up. It is, like I said, if there's TV you want to catch up on, podcasts you want to catch up on, this game is a great background, background kind of game. Uh, it's fun in general. I'm, As of right now, this is probably about two hours in, and there's still tons of upgrades and tons of everything else to do. But thank you for watching this video, as always. Uh... Feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. If not, I love you all the same either way. And I'll catch you all next time. Lates.